This City of Light, Chapter 16, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Miro Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Yane on Pixiv. The link to Yane's Pixiv, as well as the prior 15 parts, will be in the description box. If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment to promote the YouTube algorithm. If you aren't sure what to comment, put Marinette's Depression. Marinette Dupang Chang. Paris, France. The 16th of December. All things considered, Marinette should be on top of the world. She had a great semester, her arch nemesis was defeated, and she was technically on holiday. But she wasn't. Her best friend wanted to move out of not just the country, but off the continent. Her relationship with her mom, although better than most people's, was stressed. And although she didn't want to admit it, Marinette was... Well, Marinette was depressed. She wasn't, but she was. She didn't feel sad, but her body felt like garbage because she ate like garbage. She didn't feel sad, but she couldn't concentrate on, well, anything. She didn't feel sad, but her room looked like it was the week before portfolio reviews, not the week after. Marinette didn't feel sad, but if there was anything her mother taught her to recognize, it was depression. And this particular bout of depression thundered above her ever since they put away Shadow Moth, and she'd pretended not to notice while sharing Cat Noir's umbrella. After all, if you stay dry, then is there a problem? <sighs> the problem might be her not admitting she had a problem. Scooch over. Marinette, instead of dealing with her problems, picked up sushi takeout and went over to Adrian's place, finding him doom-scrolling in bed on his phone. What is that? Sushi. She yanked the blanket up and slid under it before handing him a box. Want to watch something? Um, sure. He narrowed his eyes at her as he opened the box. You good? Nope. She picked out the wasabi and tossed it in the trash. I'm depressed. Seasonal? Don't think so. Post-nemesis blues? Mm, maybe. Did you get a bad grade on your final report? Ugh, don't jinx me like that. So what's up? I feel like ick, but I also don't feel like anything at all. Ah, one of those days. Yep. Wanna look at Christmas lights together? What were you planning on doing today? He showed her his phone. I was watching cat TV. Marinette blinked as a squirrel ran on the screen, looked around, then stuffed its cheeks. You're serious? Yeah, it's pretty calming, actually. Adrian. Yeah? This is for cats. I know. I like it, though. She looked at him, no humor on his face. He meant it. Am I a jerk if I laugh? It depends on which laugh you use. Hmm. So you're extra blue today? Adrian cracked open the lunch she brought, then smiled. She knew his order by heart, but somehow he still seemed touched every time she brought him cucumber avocado rolls topped with spicy mayo. Any triggers? I wish that there were. It's like that sometimes. You know what this means? What? We should do something instead of wallowing in bed all day. <laughs> Gross. She took a bite of her order and twisted her face. Thanks, I hate it. You aren't talking about the food, are you? She sighed and tossed her chopsticks in the box, then pushed her head under his arm until she could rest on his chest. I hate everything today. Ah, 
one of those days. What do you want to watch? Do you want to finish that movie from the last time you were here? Meh. Rewatch Blue Period as life enjoyment motivation? I don't feel like reading subtitles today. I hope you realize that if you don't make a decision, then I'm going to put on a Taylor Swift concert. Hmm. He set his to-go box in his lap, then stroked her hair. Marinette? He whispered. Hmm? I've got an idea. He pressed a kiss to her temple, then sprung up, disrupting her center of gravity as he jumped off his bed. What? She saw him pull out a pair of microphones from the console table. Catch! He chucked a mic at her with hardly a warning, then turned to the TV. Dibs on should have said no. Adrian, I... I don't feel like singing. Okay. He shrugged and tapped the remote. Then I will sing every single Naruto opening uninterrupted. Please don't. Mm, then you should choose a song to interrupt me. This brat. How did me coming over to share sad girl sushi night turn into a karaoke session? Marinette sighed. What, do you want me to add a strip tease or something? He asked, lifting the bottom of his t-shirt. Adrian! She laughed. He wiggled his eyebrows as the guitar track wailed behind him. I'm gonna start. Think about what you want to sing after this. I- Marinette tried to refute, but he cut her off with a belt and a terrible American-esque accent. Oh, this boy. I want to be sad right now. Then pick a sad song to sing, he called back to her between verses, then turned and shook his hips in an interpretive dance. This is not what sad girl sushi is for. Regardless, she tried another piece. Delicious. And although some deep gremlin part of her didn't want to, Marinette felt better. It was like her worries of the morning belonged to someone else, and she just overreacted. The feeling was fleeting, sure, but right now, everything was all right. She'd struggle with her same mental health problems tomorrow, but for today, she could belt and do terrible impressions with her best friend, and that made life a bit better, didn't it? Adrian? She spoke into her mic. Yeah? He finished his song, chest heaving and visibly sweating. He'd truly put on a show to make her feel better, hadn't he? I love you. He grinned back at her. I love you too. Can we play Just Dance instead? If you think you can get away with not singing in front of me after my gut-wrenching performance over pretending I had an ex cheat on me, you're wrong. Come on, choose a song. She clicked her tongue as she rolled her eyes, heart light. Okay, you got me. Put on the Miraculous Movie theme song. Wait, wait, wait. Adrian raised an eyebrow. Are you asking me to sing a romantic Lady Noir theme song with you as a duet? No, I'm going to FaceTime Alia and we'll scream sing it at each other. He didn't realize she was joking. Oh, but she won't have a mic. Oh, she always plays Cat Noirs in rehearsals. It's fine, we've cut it down. I could get it down for you. He mumbled, scrolling through the options until he found the track. Adrian! Marinette laughed. Yeah? I'm kidding. Oh! He blinked, then looked away. I know that. Totally. I can tell when you're joking, you know. Uh-huh. She sang the opening line instead of teasing him further. Well, this was something... It could have been a terrible day, but instead, Marinette went to her best friend's house and laughed as he bent over backward to make her smile. Maybe this Christmas wouldn't be so bad after all. 
Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 17 is on the way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Also, if you're still listening.